prism connected. Video mode. One of the weird things is, as we leave for Grey Mountain this morning, went last week and there was snow pack on top. I'm half an hour away from the top of Grey Mountain. Not a huge mountain by any means, but big for around here. And we're going to be hopefully beating the snow pack today. So it's toasty, toasty here, and within half an hour we should be probably looking at some snow. I hope not. Let's see. Let's go to Grey Mountain. I've developed this habit of the v strom high beam flasher is right here on the left hand side. And when I come up to traffic and they're making a turn in front of me, but they're waiting to make their left hand turn, I flash the high beam a couple times. They call it the passing flash. I double click them and give them the flash. It's kind of like, hey, wake the fuck up, buddy. As we drift into the top of the hill, down into the city center of Whitehurst, which we have to go through to get to Green Mountain. These are just suburban rides, I call them. Say no more. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So let's go through town to a suburban ride. Oh, it looks like the... Why oh, I see a large crew of people doing nothing. Must be the city. <laughs> it's tourism town. Motorhomes, motorcycles, mopeds. Everything. Let's go, baby. Spring in the north. That's a great mountain up there. Just right on top of the superstore. I mean, it's so crazy driving down. There's at least, I must have gone through, I'm going through the entire city here, and there's got to be at least half a dozen stoplights. It's crazy. I don't know people tolerate this traffic. <laughs> it's pretty damn easy. There's, you guys are probably just sitting in your own drool right now thinking, oh my God, Green Mountain. It's really, it's a really a good ride. Oh, oh, look. I've seen a few of those here. Can-Amps. Strange, unique Canadian motorcycle. Okay, now we're going up Grey Mountain. It'll be paved for a short bit. It'll be dirt, and beautiful dirt, and then it will get just slightly ugly. As you can see, traffic is immense today. Bumper to bumper. I must be careful, I'm feeling a little bit crazy today. This doesn't mean much for coming from a 58 year old white male with a heart condition. <laughs> Just being getting out of bed is living on the edge. Still, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful. Of course, there'll probably be a goddamn bug on the lens right now. Always, always a bug on the lens. You can see it gets a little steeper here now, which you probably can't tell with the camera, and a little, a little more gravelly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Washboard. <laughs> and we're behind a jeep. Yeah, a jeep just went by me. It looks like he's going up to the top. Oh yeah, these are, these are some serious holes. Nice. Could bury me in that one. Bury me not. And flipping gray mountain. Although it wouldn't be that bad. Oh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. Yep, nice. Now we're getting into it here. So I haven't been up here in 40 years. And now, just recently, I've been up here twice in the last four days and sober. Of course, these DLs are so nice here. The handlebars extension on, which you have to do on a DL. Like, if you're going to take it off-road, you need that extension on your handlebars. Inch and a half up, inch and a half back. And uh, then you can stand up quite comfortably. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a hoedown. Got a convoy. And a nice cheap, really nice longer wheelbase. So much more comfortable. Yep, that's still there. It's amazing they let that sit there for so long.
had problems last time. You can see it is just slippier than snot. But oh, I'm up. I'm up. There's enough. There's enough dirt to come through here. Can you believe that? I'm causing a traffic jam on Grey Mountain. Look at the view. Just scoping it out because I. Oh really? It's a manhandle of a road. Uh, Last time I got stopped right there. Yeah. I'm Bill. Hi, I'm Robert. Yeah. Uh, Pleasure to meet you. It's going to be a little bit slippery, but I think I can get around the snow. Nice fella. Rides a big KTM. It's a little bit soft, but nothing scary. That's where these knobbies come in. So nice. Oops, slip. There we are. Holy shit. Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with that view. Okay, gets a little gnarly. Gets quite gnarly right here. All rock. What goes up must come down. Prism battery's low already. I'm not impressed with the prism battery power. It's, you got an hour. I don't care what they say. You're lucky to get an hour. thing is in the sun you can't really see what you're doing. Ah oh, the sound of a horse fly. Should be no problem. Yep beautiful. Okay we did her. Great mountain. Woo! Awesome. 22nd or something of May 23rd. Prism low battery. Well then let's turn you freaking off. Okay boys and girls thanks for coming out. That's the Grey Mountain ride. Trying to give you a little view of some of Yukon's very accessible and easy ride, especially on the DL650. We're not going to be doing no motocross with this big girl. So thanks for coming out. Be sure to subscribe and happy trails to all of you.